Good evening. My name is Ashley Booth, and I have the pleasure of introducing Dr. Lori Curtis tonight. Dr. Curtis teaches literacy, literacy methods here in the College of Education, and um, she also is the reading program specialist. Um, I have not had the pleasure of having a class with her yet. That will be next semester. Um, but she is the faculty advisor for KNEA, um, where she encourages us in our profession and getting into the schools and really spreading um, our desires to be the best teacher that we could possibly be. So it is a true honor to introduce my mentor and someone who truly has a passion for education, Dr. Curtis. Thank you, and um, tonight I'm going to have the opportunity, well actually at just five minutes of opportunity, to share with you some of the lessons that I have learned that I've tried to bring back to my classroom at Kansas State University. And these are lessons that I've learned from some international literacy outreach work that I've been doing. And actually the journey started quite close to where we are. I was at an elementary school in Junction City, and I saw a poster on the wall, and it said, if we don't model what we're teaching, we're teaching something else. So when I looked at that and considered our um, vision statement for the College of Education to prepare knowledgeable, ethical, caring decision makers in a diverse world, I wanted to know was I really preparing them for the diverse world that they were going to be facing in their classrooms. So I took some lessons from some opportunities I've had. And when I went to Ethiopia for a month on a Fulbright Hayes Group Projects Abroad um, program that Dr. Jacqueline Spears in our college had written. And we spent uh, a month in Ethiopia with 12 educators from across the United States. And I went as the literacy consultant because we were writing social studies and literacy curriculum. But I learned the biggest lesson of all from this man. This is a librarian who actually has an elementary library in the middle of one of the poorest parts of Addis Ababa. And when I looked at the handwritten posters he had in front of his elementary um, students, it made me really stop and think about um, that when I come back to Kansas State University, I need to make sure that my students realize that literacy education is more than methods and skills and strategies, that we need to teach our students that teaching literacy is empowering for people. The next lesson I learned was when I went to visit some colleagues in Grenada. I went down to Grenada because they had um, participated in a USAID-funded grant um, called the SET Initiative. And it stands for Caribbean Excellence in Teacher Training. And it's very similar to the Reading First initiatives we had going on here in the United States. So I went to visit their classrooms. And what I noticed is some of the materials and um, the resources that they had were still sitting in plastic packaging. And they were designed um, kind of as wall decorations along, along the sides of the room. And I tried to figure out what was going on. I spoke with the ministry officials. And I found out that while some of the teachers had had some professional development, Others had not had that opportunity. And so while I went down and provided some professional development for some literacy instruction for their teachers, um, what I learned in working with these who became colleagues is I was able to connect them with students at Kansas State University, the reading specialists I had in my program, with the reading teachers there and other reading teachers in the state of Kansas. Because what I wanted my students to see is that Continuing your professional development in whatever career field you're in is critical to you being a lifelong learner. And collaboration is key. And the last lesson that I learned was back in Ethiopia just last May. I was asked to um, go for a, a very small window of time. I graded my finals. I put my grades into ISIS. I got on a plane and had to be back to teach summer school. So I was asked to go um, as a consultant with Ethiopia Reads, a nonprofit, to try to help them in, or inform a project that they wanted to start, a three-year professional development project. So I landed on a Friday night, went out to dinner with the Ethiopia Reads volunteer who had traveled with me to find out that they'd kind of had a change of plans. I was going to visit the schools like I had planned, but then they decided to have a conference. And it was going to be a three-day conference, and I was the conference. And I would have never gotten on the plane had I known that when I started on this journey. Um, and this was their idea. The first day, um, well, first everything had to be translated into Amharic. So I only really had half the time I needed. And the, the largest challenge for me was similar to trying to get this talk into five minutes tonight, is how do you take what you know and make it relevant for an audience when you have such a limited amount of time? 
And so um, everything I had to say, I had to make sure these young ladies understood what I was saying. Um, the first day, they brought 100 people from all regions of Ethiopia into Addis Ababa, and we were in a fairly large lecture hall. Day two, we broke them up into small groups where they actually got to apply some of the things that I had tried to teach them. Um, and then on day three, I went out into the schools and I worked because, you know, if you don't model what you teach, you might be teaching something else. I wanted to show them these things could work. So we went out into the schools and um, the children participated and they lined all of the participants, the adult teachers and librarians over in the corners and along the edges, the children learned. Um, but I learned most of all. I learned that good teaching um, has to be clearly focused and culturally relevant to those that you are um, engaging in your instruction. And it has to be delivered by people who are just as interested in the learner as they are in the content they are teaching. So my, my hope for my own students, undergraduates and graduates here at Kansas State University, is that when they have their own international experiences, and I hope they do, it will be life-changing for them, but I want them to keep the focus on the lives of the students that they then get to share their knowledge with. And because I want to model what I'm teaching, and I want my students to meet deadlines, my five minutes is up, so thank you. <laughs>